I'm gonna show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> Welcome to the world of deepfakes, where AI technology is rapidly becoming sophisticated enough to produce likenesses of real people that can fool even the most astute observer. But can deepfakes seriously contribute to fake news and conspiracy theories? How easy are these fakes to make and distribute? And should we consider this technology a uniformly negative phenomenon? So, should you be scared of deepfakes? Okay, so let's start with what the term deepfake means. The term refers to application of artificial intelligence to create false renderings of a person or event. The technology, which uses images of real people and places, manipulates existing media to render a novel likeness. These are images of celebrities and politicians. The vast majority of these fakes are used for nefarious purposes like pornography. Does this sound like harmless internet fun or something more dangerous? Fear 1. Deep fakes create fake news and conspiracies. Deep fake, a term coined on Reddit in 2017, began with videos that applied open sourced face swapping technology to produce pornographic images of female celebrities. While crude deep fakes are easy to spot, the technology to make these videos is rapidly becoming more sophisticated and accessible through downloadable software and phone apps. The threat that this technology will be used to spread fake news and conspiracies has gained attention of politicians and security organizations. U.S. Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff has described a nightmarish scenario where hostile actors can create a digital storm of misinformation, leaving the public unable to discern fact from fiction. Whoa, this is heavy. Tech companies like Facebook have pledged to ban deepfakes from the platform and have developed software to detect them. But as the technology grows more sophisticated, it becomes harder to see, even for sophisticated algorithms. <laughs> Fear 2. They're easy to make and distribute. The number of deep fakes on the internet has roughly doubled every six months since 2018. Here's Johnny! <laughs> With the emergence of apps like FaceSwap and MyHeritage, and filter technology on TikTok and Snapchat, deep fake technology has rapidly become accessible across the digital world. For now, the technology, such as this deepfake swapping Nicolas Cage's face with the cast of Friends, isn't hyper-believable. It is more the stuff of memes than a threat to national security. Realistic deepfakes are expensive and difficult to produce. Cheap ones, or should we say, cheap fakes, are easy to spot, at least for a sophisticated user. And while video manipulation through machine learning is still somewhat challenging to produce, Shallow fakes that use simple editing techniques are already widely circulated. For example, one viral video of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was altered to make her sound drunk. So, it's really sad. Here's the thing. Fear 3. Deep fakes are all bad. We mentioned earlier that when deep fakes emerged, the vast majority, more than 90%, were pornographic. They were non-consensual applications of images of real women. That's really bad. And there's much more to be afraid of. Deepfakes are causing real political turmoil and even riots fueled by deliberate misinformation circulated online in places like Myanmar and Sri Lanka. The reality that deepfakes will become more sophisticated over time makes digital literacy and vetting of online information even more critical. That's not to say that there aren't some fun aspects, too. Like this deepfake of Salvador Dali, where the artist welcomes visitors to a new exhibition of his work. But still, the threat of deepfakes as a tactic for intimidation and social disruption should not be taken lightly. And of course, always take your internet with a healthy dose of skepticism. We give deepfakes a medium high on the scare meter Wondering about other potentially scary technologies? Do you think social media algorithms reach the fear threshold? Well, we'll let you know on the next episode of Should You Be Scared.